Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity subnetting scenario. Here is our objective of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, design an IP addressing scheme. In part 2, assign IP addresses to network devices and to verify connectivity. Also, we will go through the scenario here in this activity. Uh, you are given the network address of 192.168.100.0/24 to subnet and provide the IP addressing for the network shown in the topology. Each LAN in the network requires enough space for at least 25 addresses for end devices, the switch and the router. The connection between R1 and R2 will require an IP address for each end of the link. We will come to part 1 design an IP addressing scheme uh, in that step 1 subnet the 192.168.100.0 slash 24 network into the appropriate number of subnets based on the topology how many subnets are needed right coming to the topology here we can see we have a 1 2 3 4 and here is a 5 so total we have a, a 5 networks so we needed 5 subnets Next is how many bits must be borrowed to support the number of subnets in the topology table. Yes, the scenario itself they mentioned uh, at least 25 addresses for the entity devices, switches or router. So uh, if you have to get these 25 addresses, uh, we have to borrow 3 bits. Right. So how many subnets does this create? So when we borrow 3 bits, obviously we will get 2 to the power of 3 that is equal to 8 subnets yes uh, next is uh, how many usable host does this create per subnet so uh, when we borrow uh, 3 bits that means uh, we uh, get a total 8 subnets so uh, usually we get 32 addresses so in that uh, one network address and broadcast address available so total we get 30 usable IP addresses and here they given a note if your answer is less than the 25 hosts required then you borrowed too many bits right so now it's correct because uh, now we get a uh, total 30 usable hosts right calculate the binary value for the first five subnets the first subnet is already shown here we can see that uh, 192.168.100 and uh, the last octet uh, given in uh, binary uh, that is uh, zero here is our uh, spreadsheet here we are going to enter the remaining uh, subnets now we will go to uh, net one right here we have 192.168.100 dot so we borrowed uh, three bit so the first uh, next uh, subnet is zero zero one then five zeros so one two three four five right and now we will go to uh, network two so here we have 192 dot 168 dot 100 dot zero one zero 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 right now we'll go to net three so that's 192 dot 168 dot 100 dot we have zero one one zero 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 right and now we will go to the network four subnet four that is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot hundred dot one zero zero and the remaining five zero so zero 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 oops one extra right now we will come to F. Calculate the binary and the decimal value of the new subnet to mask. So here all already they given uh, three octet, and uh, we have seen we borrowed three bits. So we will put three ones and remaining uh, five zeros. Then we will uh, find the uh, decimal value of this uh, binary. All right. Now we will find the uh, subnet to mask so first three octet we can write in binary so eight ones dot one 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 dot 
right then we borrowed three bits so we are going to put that bits on one two three and remaining five zeros one two three four five right now we are going to find the decimal value or values of this uh, octet that is 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot here we have one 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 and remaining zeros that means 128 plus 64 plus 32 so we get uh, 192 plus that that is 224 right so this is our submit to mask next is fill the uh, fill in the submitted table listing the decimal values of all available subnets the first and last usable host address and the broadcast address repeat until all addresses are listed so you may not need to use uh, all rows so here is our subnet table and we are going to fill this now we will come to our uh, subnet table here it is so the uh, first uh, subnet address is uh, 192.160 oops right dot hundred dot zero and the first usable host address is obviously the next address that is 192.168.100.1 and the last usable host address so obviously we know the broadcast address is 192.168.100.31 right so the last usable host address will be uh, one less than this broadcast address that is 192.168.100.30 the same fashion we can create for other uh, subnet also here we can see our field uh, subnet table here we can see all the uh, eight subnet address and here we can see the first usable host address uh, of each subnet and here we can see the last usable host address uh, in each uh, subnet and here is the broadcast, broadcast address for uh, uh, each subnet. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Assign the subnets to the network shown in the topology. Assign subnet 0 to the LAN connected to the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of R1. Yes, here we can see that R1 here is a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So we are going to assign the uh, first uh, subnet that is subnet 0 uh, to this LAN and uh, assign subnet to 1 to the LAN connected to the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface of R1 yes here we are going to assign that assign subnet 2 to the LAN connected to the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of R2 uh, here is that and assign subnet 3 to the LAN connected to the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface of R2 so here we can see that uh, PC4 where it is connected yes and assign subnet 4 to the WAN link between R1 and R2 yes here we can see that in between R1 and R2 for the interfaces serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R1 and R2 coming to the spreadsheet so the first subnet we are going to uh, assign uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of R1 and to the second one we are going to assign to here we can see that uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash uh, 1 so we will lay it here right 0 slash 1 and uh, next uh, we are going to uh, the third one we are going to assign to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of uh, R2 and uh, the fourth one that is uh, uh, here we can see subnet number 3 we are going to assign to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface of uh, uh, R2 and the fifth one we are going to assign to the interface uh, uh, serial interface uh, between R1 and uh, R2 now we will come to uh, step 3 document the addressing scheme fill in the subnet table using the following guidelines Assign the first usable IP addresses to R1 for the two LAN links and the WAN links. Right. So assign the first usable IP addresses to R2 for the LAN link. Assign the last usable IP address for the WAN link. Then assign the second usable IP addresses to the switches. 
assign the last usable IP address to the host. Right. So first we will document this addressing scheme. Here we can see our field addressing scheme. We can see the IP address of uh, each interface on uh, every devices and here we can see the subnet mask and the default gateway. Now we will come to part 2. Assign IP addresses to network devices and verify connectivity. Most of the IP addressing is already configured on this network. Implement the following steps to complete the addressing configuration. So we have to configure IP addressing on R1 LAN interfaces. Then configure IP addressing on S3 including the default gateway. Then step 3 configure IP addressing on PC4 including the default gateway. And uh, finally we have to verify the connectivity. You can only verify connectivity from R1, S3 and PC4. However you should be able to ping every IP address listed in the addressing table. Right, so we will assign these IP addresses to uh, different network devices now. Coming to R1, CLI, right. Uh, we'll give a enable configure terminal. Now we'll go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set the IP address 192.168.100.1 and uh, next we have to set the subnet mask. 255.255.255.224 and now we will give the no shut command yes coming to the next interface so that is interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we are going to set the IP address so the IP address of this interface is 100.33 and we will give no shut command here yes now we will configure S3 enable configure terminal and we will go to the interface vlan1 and we will set the ip address 192.168.100.66 and the submit mask is set 255.255.255.224 and we will give no shut command now we will set the uh, default gateway so we have to give IP default gateway is uh, 192.168.100.65 now we will uh, set uh, uh, IP addressing on a PC4 including the default gateway here we can see the IP address of a PC4 uh, IP address is 100.126 and here is the default gateway right we will set this now coming to the PC4 desktop IP configuration here we are going to queue the IP address that is 192.168.100.126 and here is submit to mask we have to change to 224 and now we are going to give uh, the default gateway so the default gateway is 100.97 right now uh, we will uh, verify the connectivity so I am going to ping from PC4 to PC1 so we will get the IP address of a PC1 here is that uh, that is 192.168.100.30 so we will come to PC4 command prompt here I am going to ping to PC1 yes we are getting the replay also we will ping to 100.1 I am going to give here that is router yes here we can see our completion status 30 out of 30 so in this packet tracer we have seen the subnetting scenario uh, we have done uh, subnetting uh, for at least 25 addresses uh, for entity devices uh, in this uh, topology so my dear friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity uh, please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel 
so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you